One nice sunny morning, David woke up and found chirping birds. David was soon leaving for a camping trip with his three friends, Amber, Marcus, and Todd. And so, the two boys frowned and glared at each other for the rest of the day until evening when the three friends set off for their camping trip. As they go on their way to this campsite, David's mother reminds David that his grandfather was buried in a nearby cemetery and that David should go to honor his grave. So, they decide to check it out. Their long journey slowly comes to an end as they approach the campsite. The three, the three friends set off to walk to the cemetery. You guys, we actually have to split up because I have no idea where the grave is. They're going to get lost. The three friends set off to find David's grandfather's grave. Little did they know that some of their relatives were buried in the same cemetery. Marcus has been looking for the grave and is getting frustrated by the minute, but ends up finding his grandfather's grave. Oh, Grandpa was buried here. I guess I'll sit and wait for a minute. Marcus sits down and leans his head against the tombstone, but then he gets sucked into the tombstone and falls down with a loud bang! Ah! Amber walks around for a bit and wonders what Steve's grandfather was like, then finds her grandmother's tombstone. So. Great grandma's grave? What? Ah! <laughs> Tom has been walking around for the longest. His Bones are tired, his legs are achy. He starts to get tired and sits down to see also his grandfather's grave. Oh, I didn't know Grandpa's grave was buried here. I guess I'll just sit down for a moment. Ah! Ah! David searched all night, but the clouds came and it started to rain. So he went back to the tent. He woke up after a long, sleepless night of worrying and goes to the graveyard to start looking for his friends. Guys, where, where are you guys? If you're talking about me, maybe you could tell me why I'm here. What was that? Look, that's the phone, and it was not like an old lady. David realizes since friends have somehow switched places with elderly people, and Tommy somehow knows why. Tommy explained that he read it in a book that magic spells that about magic spells that he found in David's room. He decided to, to use it for payback of how David tr rudely treated him, and, ne and never even bothered to help. The two brothers take a minute to look at each other and apologize. They realize where they had gone wrong. And his friends start shaking though. They start jittering. Well, Mist comes out of them and they fall to the ground. Guys, are you guys okay? After a nice campfire, the brothers explain what an adventure they had. The end. Oh, oh.